Patrician Atheist here. Have you ever looked up the definition of atheist? If you haven't, you should really take a quick look, which I will give you now from a Google search. What are you looking for? Intellectual dishonesty and blatantly unacademic definitions, courtesy of theistic bias, of course. A bias that uses the English language as nothing less than a weapon against atheists. And when I was in college not so long ago, I remember writing a letter to Merriam-Webster.com because of their old definition of atheist which the freedictionary.com and wordnet.princeton.edu still use with a small deviation. Atheist, noun, someone who denies the existence of God. This definition is epically wrong. Not only does it ignore the meaning of the prefix a, meaning not or without, and the meaning of the root word theist, meaning belief in the existence of a god or gods, two terms which both of the dictionaries just mentioned defined correctly, but it adds something extra for us. It presupposes the existence of God and leaves a negative connotation about an atheist because an atheist becomes someone who is a fool for denying something that clearly exists, according to this awful definition. And the only difference between the old Merriam-Webster definition and the one the freedictionary.com and the Princeton WordPress website uses is the Merriam-Webster definition capitalized the G in God, and I bet you can guess what God both definitions are presuming exists. While Merriam-Webster.com did change their definition of atheist sometime following my letter, a development which I take no credit for as I am sure I was not the only one to complain about it, their current definition still lacks complete accuracy. Atheist, noun, one who believes that there is no deity. Again, claiming atheism is a belief is way off the mark, and not satisfied to just get this part of the definition wrong, the good people at Merriam-Webster.com again make an assumption that there is some deity so important he should be referred to in the definition of a term meaning a lack of a belief in a deity or deities. Far worse than this is the Princeton WordNet page not only retains the previously mentioned definition but shows how confused it is when it comes to defining anything to do with atheists and atheism. Its first misstep is its definition of atheist, but it gets more pathetic in its definitions of atheism and atheistic. It defines atheism as the doctrine or belief that there is no god, which again is wrong because atheism is a lack of belief, and note the return of the capital G to refer to the Judeo-Christian god again. Atheistic is defined by the Princeton WordNet page as rejecting any belief in gods, once again asserting a belief is involved, but for some reason acknowledging there are other gods than the Judeo-Christian one, and frankly making their definitions inconsistent and nonsensical. And wrong. Amazingly, if you type in define atheist or atheist definition into Google, the first thing that comes up is that an atheist is someone who denies the existence of God, courtesy of the Princeton WordNet page. It even comes up for other searches. This is troubling because it is a Princeton.edu website, and neither it or the other dictionaries I've already mentioned are the only culprits when it comes to distorting what an atheist and atheism actually are. So let's look at the other absurd definitions that show up as Google's top search results for a definition of atheist and simply add to misconceptions about atheists and atheism and will be taken as fact by Joe Schmo, as these are most likely to be seen by a casual researcher. Wikipedia redirects you from a search of the term atheist and brings you to its entry on atheism, which it defines as the position that deities do not exist or the rejection of theism. In the broadest sense, it is the absence of belief in the existence of deities. Frankly, the final part would have clearly sufficed as the implication atheism is a belief that deities do not exist or has to be a rejection of theism is unnecessary and not accurate. Wiktionary defines atheist a number of times and only the first entry is sufficiently accurate. A person who does not believe that deities exist. One who lacks belief in gods. The second entry must be dismissed as it asserts an atheist is a person who believes that no deities exist or one who denies the existence of all gods both of which are bullshit because of the whole belief implication and the assumption gods exist. It is almost like that one is there to appease theists. A definition from the humorously named Reason Spirituality website makes the same mistake in claiming atheism is a belief that there are no gods, which by now is clearly evident as being a chronic problem. The denial or rejection presumption is also a huge issue in many of these terms, and GABcreations.com repeats both mistakes by defining atheist as one who rejects or is ignorant of theism. The ignorant of theism part is as unnecessary as the rejection part is wrong because it implies atheists are simply ignorant and cannot grasp theistic concepts and this is precisely what people will assume when reading this impressively awful definition. They certainly won't think of the negligible population of humanity that is truly unaware of theism. 
The New World Encyclopedia repeats the denial and belief mistakes by defining atheism as a term that refers in its broadest sense to a denial of theism, the belief in the existence of a single deity or deities. Atheism has many shades and types. The assertion atheism has many types is unnecessary in an attempt to be too clever, as it is likely a reference to the fact everyone is an atheist and buys into atheism at some level. Quite simply, even the most ardent theist does not believe in every god the minds of men have created, so lack a belief when it comes to those deities and are atheists. And again, atheism is not an active denial of theism, which implies that it would be a positive belief. It is a lack of a belief in something. Then there are those who try even harder to be clever when defining atheist. Too hard. Like the Theosophical Society at theosociety.org. They define atheism and atheists as follows. In modern times, those who do not accept the monotheistic Christian God or any God. It formally signified those who do not believe in the accepted divinity or divinities of the state or populace. This entry then goes on a long-winded explanation about ancient Rome and a great many other interesting but ultimately irrelevant things when it comes to an accurate definition of atheist. It also claims Christianity is monotheism, which makes me laugh. And speaking of Christianity, it is the source of the last three horribly wrong definitions I would like to share. The first two are courtesy of creationkid.org and show us how much fun Christians and other theists have lying to children because it is so easy, especially if it is about those blasted atheists. This unfortunate website defines atheism as a religion that believes that God does not exist in any form, and atheist as a member of the religion that teaches that God does not exist. Ugh, boy, where do I start? Christians like to think everyone is as unreasonable and prone to believing in stupid bullshit as them. Oh, and atheism isn't a religion. It isn't even a belief. Damn lying theists. Anyway, the last Christian-inspired definition of atheist comes from one of Thomas Stobie's webpages, namely his Modern Oxymorons and Misleading Terms page, with an emphasis on the moron. This troubled individual defines atheist as follows. As used by most self-claimed atheists, it means lack of belief in an organized religion. In the dictionary, an atheist is someone who does not believe in a god. Most self-claimed atheists follow the god of hedonism or personal power, i.e. they are their god. So they do not lack religion and usually speak out only to force their religion, typically hedonism, on others. Better names would be hedonists or personal power seeker. I actually feel quite dirty after reading that. An honest, non-biased definition, this is not, as Tommy seems to have something against atheists. Tommy can't even be bothered to actually look at a dictionary to see what an atheist really is and gets it wrong from the start. Remember, all of these definitions are the top relevant results on Google when searching for a definition for atheist, and they are effective examples of how atheists and atheism are being misrepresented, grossly misrepresented. After all, the proper definition of an atheist is atheist, noun, one without a belief in or one who lacks a belief in the existence of a god or gods. In the end, I'm not looking for a more positive definition of what an atheist is, but an accurate, intellectually honest definition of what an atheist and atheism are. One which stays true to the roots of the word and forgoes the religious bias. Unfortunately, those with a clear bias against atheists are using their personal religious failings to write and promote negative definitions of what an atheist and atheism are. In this way, they use the very language of English-speaking atheists as a weapon against them, and this is understandable when visiting some asshole's personal website, but to see this occurring in supposedly reputable and professional dictionaries or on educational websites is inexcusable intellectual dishonesty and bias. Personal opinions should not be allowed to skew the meaning of words in our language, especially one as important as atheist. It is completely unethical and shows just how strong the bias against atheist is. I am an atheist, and I lack a belief in a god or gods, and in my specific case, I take it to the level of universal atheism and lack a belief in all of them. Patrician Atheist, see you around.